Hey, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Hothead. Welcome to the show. Please take this time and opportunity to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and like the video. All right, on with the show. All right, bro, I'm out of here. I'll see you when I see you. All right, bro, be safe and good luck. Where is he going? Oh, he's moving to Brazil to find himself a wife. Why? He said something about finding himself a traditional woman. So he just wants a slave? No, he just wants a woman that- Does he really get no ass to the point where he needs to leave the country? Like, is that not predatory behavior? Do you want him? Ew, no. Then why do you care so much? Because that's stupid. How? He wants a traditional type of marriage, so he went somewhere where traditional women are plentiful. That's pretty smart if you ask me. He has the money to take care of a whole family, so he's good. But if he's struggling to find someone in his own country, isn't that more so on him? I mean, maybe, maybe not. He'll know for sure once he's in South America for long enough, right? And besides, how's it going for you? Maybe you should think about getting a passport yourself. It's funny because white guys have been going to different countries to find wives forever. The minute black guys start doing it, oh, it's this big problem. Yeah, so that was a skit, obviously, but that skit <laughs> is based off like what me and probably everyone else seen online. Like dudes just straight up hating on the passport bros. And my thing is, why do you fucking care? You're a dude. If anything, you should be like, let them go. More girls for me. Not jumping on a bad wagon with the girls and saying a whole bunch of shit that don't make no fucking sense. Like, why are you dick policing? That's what I want. That's what I need to know. I don't give a fuck what the next man doing. Like, long as he ain't fuck with mine, do you, dude? Be happy. Go ahead. Like, when I heard about this whole passport bro shit, I was like, yo, what is this? Okay. And I did research, saw what it was about, and was like, okay. You know what? This shit makes sense. Okay, I see. But instead, it's like these dudes is here, the shit, the girls are sprouting out, and we're just like, oh, that makes sense. I'm gonna just listen to these girls. Beta! Beta much? Like, the fuck? Research. Everything's online, my boy. Like, they have interviews, everything. And let's, let's just put the yams aside for a minute. You know what I'm saying? The fact that our money is literally God mode in these countries is enough for me to be like, I want to retire in another country. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm not trying to be freaking 65, 80, whatever, still working or scraping by with little money or whatever, or trying to, nah, hell no. You trying to tell me all I need is $20,000 to go to one of these countries and I could buy a condo, a mansion. Are you fucking kidding me? It, that. How does that not make sense to everybody? Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up hill. Like, that seems quite logical. I mean, like I said, screw the yams for now. You know what I'm saying? Just the, 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 the fact that your money is God more than another country is awesome. You know what I'm saying? And there's so much freaking opportunities to make money online or you can travel back and forth, whatever the fuck the case is. I mean, you have a fucking condo, big house, or mansion this chilling in another country. Like, we all get old. It's not like we don't, like, you're going to be young forever. We all get old. Like, it is such a good freaking idea. Like, that's my retirement backup plan. Like, I, I don't see how that's a problem. I really don't understand. But again, why are you worried about the next man dick, my boy? Like, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Let him do whatever he's doing. And if it ain't hurting you and your shorty. <sighs> and the crazy thing is, these dudes out here making these videos on the fucking passport bros and hating this shit. But your own girl, wife, shorty you messing with, is flying out to Jamaica or, or fucking Africa getting their yams tapped. But you okay with that. You're not making no videos about them going over there cheating on you. You're right with that. A beta. Make it make sense to me, please. Make it make sense out of here. There's so much proof online already that that's what the girls are doing. If you ain't there to witness it, bro, fuck out of here. <laughs> um, 
Let's look at a few more clips. Fuck this. And there are women who are doing it, and it's documented in this book by uh, Bianca C. Williams. They're literally saying women old as your grandmother are going down to these spots in 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 Ocho Rios, these spots uh, in in Montego Bay, and they are having young men as young as teenage boys bang their back out. About how passport bros are just predators. I'm not a predator if I sleep with women in America, but if I sleep with women outside of America, I'm a predator. Got you. Guess that means you should stop sleeping with people in different states too, right? You live in Florida. Don't sleep with somebody in Chicago. You're a predator. Logic. The obesity rate in a different country is not as high as America. Stay here and sleep with all the mammoths. Got it? Women in other countries are nice and they look good. Stay here. Deal with somebody who's nice but don't look good or deal with somebody who looks good and wants to rob you passively. Nice. I don't think she used logic. I don't think logic matters to her. She's not happy at all. She keeps on forgetting to use her Planet Fitness membership.